it's time for my final journey on to Mindanao. So let's do a little bit of a recap. I started in Manila and then drove all over Luzon. And uh, those names are kind of messed up on the titles, but uh, you get the point. Next, I drove to the southern tip of Luzon and I took a ferry across to Masbate. And then from Masbate, another ferry over to Cebu. So when I got to Cebu, I drove all over Cebu Island and hopped over to Bantian Island as well. Next, I went to Bahal. I drove all over Bahal. You know, the names of these places, they're not all inclusive. They're just most of them. Then I jumped over to Leyte, drove over northern Leyte and around Samar Island. Wow, yeah, I went to a lot of places. Next, I went to Negros Island, drove around there. And then uh, Panay Island drove around there as well. Then finally went back across, went to San Carlos and across to Cebu again. And now I'm going back to Ormoc on Leyte. I'm on the ferry. So here we go. This is kind of the last journey because I have to head south and go to Mindanao. And the ferry is arriving in Ormoc. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to Tacloban because actually I'm supposed to meet some friends there and we're going to go to a waterfall. So here we go. I've been on this road before, but okay, going back again. It's a nice day, the weather's not too hot. It's a good drive. It's only about two hours between Ormoc and Tacloban. So if you've watched my previous videos, you probably remember Mark and his girlfriend, Kathy. So the plan was to get up the next morning at 10 and go to a waterfall, but Filipino time, they slept until past 12, so I just ditched them and left. Driving from Tacloban to San Ricardo, which is the southern tip, and there's a ferry there where I can go to Mindanao. So that's the plan today. It's going to be about three and a half hours drive starting out here in Tacloban, still in the town. But yeah, we'll get out of the town soon enough. Like I said, it didn't take us long and we're out of the city into the countryside. Yeah, there are some small towns and stuff, but mostly it's open road. This is about a three and a half hour drive. I don't really have a lot to say, so I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the view for a few minutes.
there aren't a lot of foreigners down here, and I was following this tricycle, and obviously the kids noticed me and probably saw my camera, so yeah, they were cute. Some beautiful views up here. There really wasn't much. I mean, there were some, a few small towns here and there, but not very much at all. And actually, I'm getting hungry. I drove into this random small town and I still can't find anything to eat. There's really not much. This is the biggest town I've seen in a long time. Okay, we're pretty close now. Shouldn't be too long until we get to the pier. Okay, we're here. So this is the whole pier. I mean, this is literally the pier. 
Well, at least they have barbecue for my dinner. Four hours late and the boat has arrived. Okay, everybody on board. Arriving in Surigao City, the last leg of the adventure. So join me on this adventure. Let's go.